Despite the best efforts of senior royals, they reportedly did not all reach Balmoral before Her Majesty's death. Charles, now King Charles III, and the Princess Royal, however, were already in Scotland at the time of the Queen's turn for the worse, and were able to make it to the royal estate to be with their mother, according to royal sources. Prince Andrew, Prince Edward, his wife Sophie and Prince William all flew in from Berkshire via private jet to Aberdeen yesterday. However, it is understood that they did not reach Balmoral in time. By coincidence, Prince Harry was in the country as he was due to attend a charity event with wife Meghan in London last night. He raced to Balmoral, cancelling his attendance at the event, but didn't arrive until 8 p.m., nearly an hour and a half after the public had been informed of the Queen's death. Royal household staff were in tears after the announcement yesterday as they came to terms with the loss. Queen died with Charles and Anne by her bedside, aides rocked by deep sense of shock, image, Getty, members of the royal family raced to Balmoral to be by the Queen's side, image, PA, Queen Elizabeth death, updates as tributes flood in from around globe the Queen has died, surrounded by her loved ones, as tributes pour in from across the globe. The UK will now enter a 10-day period of mourning, with the Queen's funeral being held on the 10th day. Read all the tributes pouring in for the Queen here, one told the Daily Mail, however much you try to prepare yourself for this moment, it just hits you like a ton of bricks. She is irreplaceable. I just can't believe we won't see that impish smile again. There is a deep sense of shock. Royal family members raced to Balmoral after Buckingham Palace released a statement at 12.32 p.m. saying the Queen's doctors were concerned for her health, and that she would be under medical supervision. King Charles was already by her side at her Aberdeenshire home after senior aides acted quickly when they feared the worst early yesterday morning. They sent the Queen's burgundy liveried helicopter up from Windsor at 6. 48 a.m. to collect him from Dumfries House in Ayrshire. Read more, Kate rushes to pick up George, Charlotte and Louis from school, reveal, Her Majesty died while Prince Harry was still in the air on the way over, image, Getty, he made it to Balmoral by 10. 27 a.m. His wife, Camilla the Duchess of Cornwall, will now be Queen Consort, as per the request of Elizabeth II made earlier this year. Camilla was already at the couple's Scottish retreat at Burkill, and was driven over by car to be with the family. It is understood that the Queen's daughter, Princess Anne, was already with her mother as she had been undertaking engagements in the area. Meanwhile, the jet carrying Prince William, Prince Edward, Prince Andrew and the Countess of Wessex arrived in Scotland at 4 p.m. Don't miss! Andrew looks set to take on Queen's beloved dogs after Monarch's death, reveal Queen's poignant last moments with Charles and Anne by her side, insight inside Buckingham Palace, glimpse inside Queen Elizabeth II's home, analysis, the nation is mourning the loss of Her Majesty, image, Getty, trending they arrived at Balmoral at 5. 6 p.m. in a Range Rover driven by William. While the time of death has not been confirmed by Buckingham Palace, it is thought they were not able to see the much-loved head of the family before she died. The Queen's death was announced at 6.32 p.m. in a short black-edged statement from Buckingham Palace, which read simply, The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow, 